a lot of times, yeah, we were talking about continuity and one-sided limits. So we look at this. Is there any discontinuities for x squared plus x minus 1? No. no. We know that function is continuous, correct? OK. Now, let's just think about this. I'm just going to draw a random parabola. Okay. So what they're saying is, the intermediate value theorem is basically saying is, if you have a closed interval on a continuous function, that there exists a value, you know, c, in between these two intervals, where we're going to say this is a and this is b, what the intermediate value theorem says is there exists a value c that is in between our closed interval a comma b. That's pretty, and it kind of seems obvious to us, right? I mean, it's continuous, so yeah, of course there's a value there. But that's basically, it looks obvious and it seems obvious, but it's very useful. It's not so much useful in this problem, because uh, we're trying to show in this problem that the value uh, f of c equals 11, right? That's what we're trying to show exists, f of c equals 11. This was on your homework. So what we need to do is we need to figure out, well, what is this value, and then what is that value? So to find the lower limit, we apply f of 0, which is 0 squared plus 0 minus 1. So we could say f of 0 equals negative 1. And then we need to apply the upper limit, which is f of 5. So that's 5 squared plus 5 minus 1, 25, 30, 29. So basically, our limit here is going, so between 0 and 25, my f of x, my output, is going between negative 1 and 29. Does 11 fall within negative 1 and 29? Yes. And since the function is continuous, we can use the intermediate value theorem to say that there exists a value c that gives us an output of 11. Does that kind of make sense? I just, don't, I just don't have time right now to write things down. And, but that's basically what you guys can um, show here. And we'll practice more of that um, as we we'll practice more of that as we